Example 9.6 under the binary operations using tables. Again, using table test the property of binary operations such as commutativity and associativity under the set S. Set S, whose elements are A, B, C, and D. Ha? Whose elements are A, B, C, and D. Now, we have to test the commutativity. Commutativity means, again, regardless of the order of the elements using the same operation, you should be getting this, the same value. So based on the table, the elements are symmetric with respect to the main diagonal. This indicates that the operation, the binary operation is commutative under S. And furthermore, if you observe, uh, for example, A times A are different elements. For example, B times A. B times A here is just the same as A times B here, right? Take note that these are small letters. It so happened that uh, your our word our ms word automatic shang nag capitalize right when i navigate through the uh, to through the tables okay the small letters and the and same goes c times a is the same as a times c here or Take, let's take C times B. C times B here is the same as B times C. Okay. Okay. And, and you can easily identify whether this whether a table or whether a set which is illustrated using a table, commutative, if we observe the, the diagonals, the elements should, should be symmetric with respect to the main diagonals. This is our diagonal. This is the diagonal, okay? Uh, let me you know. This is our diagonal, ha? Huh? And if you observe symmetrical, uh, the elements were sim uh, the elements were symmetrical with respect to this diagonal. So we have BDA, same goes BDA above C C and D. We have C C N. So therefore, this uh, table is, or I mean, the operation is commutative under the given set S. And associativity. Second, associativity. We test the property applying the few cases as follows. <clears throat> All right, so you have to test whether for some example or right, some cases of or from the given table, we should we could have from some cases using the table, are we to satisfy are we to satisfy the property of associativity? Okay, let's test. First, let's say B, C, and D were elements of S. And we have to test the binary operation. B star C star B. B star C star C. Is it the same as B star C? star D. Just one another before I could give you the solution. B star C here. B star C is equivalent to D. Right? B star C is equivalent to D. And D star D is equivalent to B. Okay, so this is the solution for the left side of our equation. Now, the right side. We'll start first with the operation inside the parenthesis. We have C star D. C star D is A. Okay. 
C star D is A. And B star A. B star A is B. So, the left side of the equation, or the solution for the left side of the equation is equivalent to the solution for the right. Okay, using the right side of the equation. Therefore, for this case, no, for this case alone, uh, we have uh, the this is associative. Okay, and another, another test of the time, we have C star B star C is it equal to D star B star C. So, just yes. D star B using this table and B star C. D, B, B, C. We have D star B is C. Okay. And, 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 D, D, and, B, C. B star C. B star C is D here. Okay, that's why we have we have C star C and D star D. Okay, looking into that operation, we have C star C is B and D star D is B as well. Therefore, left and the right side of the equation were equivalent. And therefore, we set there your case that then. Now this kind of computation will hold for all cases of the elements in S. Thus, the binary operation is associative under the set S. Right? Under the set S. Any question? If none, then let me proceed to the next. I consider the set S whose elements are 2, 4, 6, and 8. Our task is to construct the multiplication table under the module of 10 and then test the commutativity of multiplication in the set S and test the associativity of multiplication in set S. We are we are now familiar with our on how to illustrate the given set under a modulo using a table now. Multiplication table. We have elements two, four, six, eight under the modulo ten. Under the modulo ten. So by the definition of of modular arithmetic, we'll have to consider the the remainder right, of, of such a uh, product of the operation. Okay, so we have 2 times 4 is 8, 4 times 2 is 8, 6 times 2 is 10, remainder 2, 8 times 2 is 10, remainder 6, and so on. So this is your uh, multiplication table under modulo 10. And letter B. Letter B. The binary operation multiplication is commutative since the elements are symmetrical, are symmetric with the main diagonal of the table. That's not that. Let's see. This is your diagonal. Diagonal. Now, are the elements symmet symmetrical with respect to this diagonal? We have 8, 4, 8, 2, 2, and 6, which is true. Okay? Same numbers, same, same values. Therefore, therefore, the operation is cumulative. Okay, under multiplication. 
are under the given set modulo 10. And associativity, the same. We have to test for some cases lang. Now, we don't have to show all the cases. Right? So, we set a few cases as follows. For example, let's try to test if the left and the right side of this equation uh, were equivalent. Like, for example, the product between 4 and 6 times 8 is it equivalent to 4 times the product between 6 and 8. Okay. Using the table, 4 times 6, 4 times 6 is 4. Right? 4 times 6 is 4. And 4 times 8 is 2. 4 times 8 is 2. This is your, the left side of the equation. The right side, 6 times 8 is 8. 6 times 8 is 8. And 4 times 8 is, of course, the same. Therefore, uh, for this specific case, this specific case is associative. Right? Associative. And try pa tayo ng iba. Let's say 8, the product between 8 times 2 times 6. And 8 times the product between 2 times 6. So testing the operation we have. 8 times 2 is 6. Right? 8 times 2 is 6. And 6 times 6 is 6. Right? And on the right side, 2 times 6 is 2, and 8 times 2, 8 times 2 is the same, same value. We have 6 as well. So again, the left and the right side of our equation were equivalent. Therefore, applying the same values to all other cases, possible cases, of the table or from the given table will be the property will always be satisfied. Right? So this kind of computation will hold for all cases of the LMS in S plus the binary operation multiplication of this is what? It's associative under uh, the set S modulo 10. Okay, under the set S modulo 10. That's it. No question so far? Hello, no question? Wala po. Wala po. Thank you. Next, example number eight. Example number eight. Now, using the table, test if multiplication is left or right, distributive over addition. Okay, under S, Whose elements are A, B, C, D with the, with the indicated elements. Okay. Again. Um, eight times the sum between B plus uh, the sum between B and C. And then by left distribution, we'll have the product of A and B plus the product of A and C. Okay? Upon applying the left distribution. Left distribution. And then, test uli natin whether we'll be satisfying the right distribution this time. This time, using the elements B, A, B, and C. Okay? Applying the right distribution, we'll be having this. And for number three, using the elements B, C, and D. And letter B. Yeah. So first, you have to illustrate your set or illustrate the addition table and multiplication table of your set. So here is the addition and multiplication. 
For example lang ah, for example. Auto capitalize siya. Okay. So here's the table. A plus A is A, A, and B plus A is B, and so on. And on the second table naman, we have the multiplication. A times A is B, B times A is B, and so on. Now, first example, our first task, letter A. <clears throat> Left or right distribution. Left or right distribution. Pero for letter A, let's... Left left distribution lang yung tinitest, no? <clears throat> okay, here it is. This is the table. So, our given is, using the elements A, B, and C, we have to test if, if those elements is, this left distributive, I mean, multiplication is left distributive under the addition. So we'll have to distribute A, both of our addends, to both of our addends. That would be A times B plus A times C. But uh, here, B plus C, pertaining to the table, B plus C is D, right? B plus C is D. B plus C is D and A times D. A times D is A. A times D is A. What happened to this? This should be A. A times D is A. What happened? This should be A. Pertaining to the table. Okay, A times B is A. And on the right side, we have upon left distribution, simplify na natin mga parenthesis, we have A times B. A times B is B. Okay, just. B times C. I mean, A times C. A times C is C, which is also true. Okay. A times C is C. And the sum between B and C would be B and C. B and C is D. Got it. B and C. Bakit B yung nakalagay B? B and C is D. This should be D. Hindi ko lang siya na-edit. Okay. A is not equivalent to B. Although the same lang naman yung, yung ating conclusion. So, since uh, the, the left and the right side were not equivalent, then we can say that Multiplication is not left distributive over addition. Multiplication is not left distributive over the addition. And next, so we have to test the right distribution. This time, the elements we are to use are A, C, and A, B, C. A, C, and C. One right on distributing A to our and then we have B now B the product between B and A plus the product between C and A. Right, C and A. So that's what net. What is the sum between B and C? The sum between B and C is D. Okay? It's the end. The product between B and A, B and A, 
is C. Is C. D and A is C. And this time, the product between B and A. B and A is B. And the product between C and A is A. Right? A. And the sum of B and A is B. So, again, the left and the right side of our equation is not equivalent. It's not equivalent. So, again, the multiplication is not right distributive over addition. Okay, belong siguro dito. Tapi. C times P. Wait lang. Balik ka siya na. Wait lang. There's something wrong with my solution. Diba? Wait. I think. If this is C, it's not equivalent to B. Does it matter? Okay, of course, it matters because by commutativity. Wait lang. Test ko lang yung, yung ano ko ha. Kasi all along, I'm using or I'm pertaining to the first or row times the column. Okay, row times the column. So, B plus C here. B plus C is D. Okay? B plus C is D. Now, if you are to use column to row, B plus C is the same as D. But, okay, this time, try natin gamitin yun. Dito. A times D. A times D here is A. Okay? But, A times D here is C. There. There, 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 there. So, so uh, you have to consider first the, the column. So, column by row tayo, ha? Column by row. So, this is our column. And this is our, this is our the column and this is our row. Right? Column by row tayo. Column by row. So, that A times D. A here times B will become C. Right? So that is my mistake. That is my mistake. And that's not it. B plus C. B plus C. B plus C is B. B plus C is B. What happened? But B for B plus C is D. B plus C is D. Anyway, either of the direction the matter, row by column or column by row will be having the same value D here. So this must be D. And that's for that then. <coughs> B times A. B times A is A. And B plus C is B. So we have A, B. Now equivalent. Right? So take note, ha? that should be column by row. Right? Column by row, not row by column. That is my mistake. Letter C. Letter C. <clears throat> of the elements C, B, and D upon the left 
distribution, we have the, the product between C and B plus the product between C and B. So test natin, where's the table na? We copy the table to other place para kita natin. These are the two tables. And test natin letter C. Letter C. The sum of B and D. Sum of B and B is B and B is A. That should be A no A. Which is true. So that is A. Then that should be C. Maraming error dun sa module natin. It should be C. So that C and A, the product between C and A is C. The product between C and A is C. Uh, okay, it should be C. B plus D. B plus D is A. C times A is C. Not unless may mali ako na copy dun sa table. And then, C times A. And on the right side, C times B and C times D. C, B, C, B here is A. C, D is D. Okay, C, B is A. C, D is D. Hmm. And the product between A and D now, I mean the sum between A and D, A plus D is D. A plus D is D. Happen. So it turned out. Wait lang. Check lang natin yung given na. Check ko lang yung given. If this is truly C or A. That is C. For this, for the solution or this conclusion to work out. I think I have an error here. This should be A. This should be element A. So that A times A, A times A is D. A times A is D. And we have now the D is equivalent to D. So adjust na lang natin yun. For letter C, please replace your element C into element A okay. for this conclusion to work out. Okay, we're, we are following this conclusion. Thus, multiplication is left distributive over addition. Sir, dapat po yung resistance, sir. A times B nyan, sir. Which part? Yung right side po. Right side? Yung right side. Oh, oh. Yung right side. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, if we are to change one of the elements, we will follow then to no? A and then B here. Let's that then. If this will work, or we should, or are we going to change then the conclusion? Let's that then. A times B. A times B is B. A times B is B. A times D. A times D is C. And A times D is C. And the product of A, B, and C should be D. I mean, product bar or sum. Sum. 
B A C B A C S B A B and C S B. All right. There, 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 there. Come on now. So between B and C is yes, it's B. Therefore, for this case, for this particular case, lang na multiplication is left distributive over addition. So this goes to show that not all the cases were distributive, left or right distributive. There were only some cases that that the properties will hold. So last example, right distribution, right distribution, we have B plus C times D upon right distribution, we have product between B and D plus the product between C and D. So test mo na What is B plus C? Yes, that is D, no? Based from here, okay, from this given. And D, times d what is d times d times d is b d times b is b and right side d the product of b d plus the product of c d d d c d d d is a c d is D. Okay, B D is A, C B is B, and A plus B is D. A plus B is B. What happened? What happened? Let 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 A times B. Uh, B times D. B times D is A, right? It's A plus C times D. C times D is D. It's D. Unless the distribution that it, which is okay, the man. This should be D. This should be D. And the sum, so sum of A and B now is A and B. A and B is D. Okay. It's D. So the same pa rin naman yung conclusion natin. B is not equivalent to D. Thus, multiplication is not right distributive over addition for this specific case. Okay. It's good now we can identify the errors. Uh, this is some examples directly copied from a source, no? from a reference, from a book. So it's either, it's either I misinput a specific value or there is an error dun sa mismo book. Ano lang naman yung possibility error. Right? Is there any question so far regarding this uh, regarding this example? Okay. Sub 6 S of 5 F sub 5 and F sub 6 a set of consisting of six functions defined under the set of real numbers R, where X is an element of R, 0, and 1. 0 and 1 here. With the binary operation, star being a function of composition. I take note, the, our binary operation here is the composition of functions. You are familiar with composite functions, right? Algebra, composition of functions. 
define the function as follows. These are the given functions. F sub 1 is x. F sub 2 is 1 over x. F sub 3 is 1 minus x. F sub 4, F sub 5, and F sub 6. Now, if you compose an element of this set to another element of this set, you, I'm telling you, you will always be getting a value that is, that, are, that also belongs to the set. Okay? So, I'm meaning to say, meaning to say, the set is closed under the composition of function. The set is closed under the composition of functions. For example, let me give you one example. Now, if we compose f sub 1 to f sub 2, okay, if we compose f sub 1 to f sub 2, meaning we'll be evaluating f sub 1, the function of f sub 1, with the function of f sub 2. Okay. What does this mean? It means to say that the variable x here will be replaced with the function of f sub 2. Okay. Function of f sub 2. So f sub 1, f sub 1, the composition of f sub 1 with f sub 2 will give us f sub 2. Right? So we'll try to use other na lang. Kasi this, this, I think, is our identity element. Identity element. Take note, identity element when this is an element when operated with other elements will give you the same element. Right? So this happens, uh, this element happens to be our identity element. So let's just use other elements. Let's see. F sub 2 with F sub 3. F sub 2 is, uh, with F sub 3. Well, if we are to replace X with the function of, of F sub 3, actually F sub 3, okay, this result is also belongs to the given set, which is our f sub 6, right? Which is our f sub 6. If you, if you will be testing uh, for some other pairs of, of some other pairs of elements of the set G, makikita nyo na, yes, this is actually closed under the composition of functions. All that being said, all that being said, uh, verify natin whether the following operations or the following equations were associative or satis will satisfy the associative property. So first, we have f sub 5 times f sub 4 times f sub 6. Is it equivalent to f sub 5? 5 times f sub 4 times f sub 6. Now, we without the table first, no? Without the table. Try natin. Let's try to solve this uh, algebraically. Okay, without the table first. Uh, this means to say binary operation, huh? this is not multiplication. This is not multiplication. This is the binary operation, composition of functions. So let's do that. Uh, F circle F. So will be uh, F of 5 is given by what, where is f of 5? f of 5 is x minus over x minus 1. This is our f of 5. 
and how to evaluate this with our f of 4. Our f of 4. And our f of 4 is, so we'll be replacing all the variables in f of 5 with the function of f of 4. Our x here, I'll in the parentheses. So x will be replaced with, be replaced with x minus 1 over x. And the same x here will be replaced with x minus 1 over x minus 1. Okay. And just to be clear, let me write. Oops. This is our f of 5. Our f of 5. Right. This is the f of 5. Then simplify this. Simplify this. Yes. LCD ng ano sir, denominator. Okay, that's right. LCD of the denominator. Wait lang. Copy ko lang yung numerator natin. X minus 1. X minus There. LCD of our denominator is, right? That's right. It's X. X. So that we have here, copy natin yung numerator ng first term times x LCD over L, uh, denominator, which is 1 times numerator. It's also 1. So we have minus x here. And then from here, what will happen? What will happen? Sir, sir cancel po yung ano, x sa baba. x minus x. All right. So we can cancel x minus x there. So we have negative 1 over x na lang. We can take note na lang yun ha. Take note. That we have 1, negative 1 over x. And then, cross multiplication. Division of function. Cross multiplication x minus 1. Negative x. Tama ba ito? Wait. <clears throat> Numerator to denominator. Okay, to denominator. And then denominator to numerator. Which is negative 1 na lang, no? Negative 1. So, this would become... This would become... X over X is 1, but if, since we have negative there, it becomes negative X plus 1 or 1 minus X. And 1 minus X is uh, still one of our, or one of the elements of G, which is F sub 3. F sub 3. And then after that, F sub 3 will be evaluated with the function of 6, F of 6. Okay, F sub 6. So we'll be replacing the variable x with the function of f of 6. Yeah, 1 minus 1 minus the given function would be 1, 1. Yeah, LCD here. What is the LCD? For x na lang, sir. Ano yun? Sir, di ba po sa f of 6? f of 6. f of 6. Yes. So, 1 over 1 minus 1 minus x. 1 over 1. Bali magiging 1 over x na lang. Pero, pakita lang natin yung solution. If this is the LCD, if this is LCD, then, we'll have applying this to the numerator becomes negative negative x negative x over 1 
minus x. Okay. Now, distributing this negative to our denominator, no? Since that the negative sign could be in the numerator or it could be in denominator. Either, no, not both. I repeat, the negative sign is either numerator or denominator, but not both. So distributing negative sign to our denominator this time, we have now x over. So 1 would become negative. Negative x would become positive. So we have x minus 1. And x over x minus 1 is still one of our elements, which is f of 5. Right? F of 5. So the left side of our equation is f of 5. f of 5. f of 5. And let's test our, our right side. f of 5. f of 4 with, let's start with f of 4. No, f of 4 with f of 6. Let's compose f of 4 with f of 6. Our f of 4 is given by x minus 1 over. Minus 1 over x. So we'll be replacing all the variable x with f of 6. F of 6, which is, what is F of 6? Yeah. Is it F of 6 is 1 over 1 minus 6 minus 1. There we have 1 minus, uh, 1 over, over, 1. Now, simplify lang natin. LCD ulit. Our LCD is B1 1 minus 1 plus do you think 1 plus x 1? Am I right? So if we are to multiply this, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, negative x times negative 1 is positive x, and then we have the LCD as 1, minus x, and then we have 1 over 1 minus, eh, sorry, 1 minus x. So numerator, denominator, denominator, numerator, and clearly we can cancel out the 1 over x here. 1 over x, 1 over x over 1 over x is 1, and then we have over 1 here, and then 1 minus 1 is 0, so ang matitila lang natin sa atin is x. And x is actually our first power f of 1, or I mean f sub 1, f sub 1. And then, and then f sub 5, okay, here. If this is f sub 1, wait, not responding. Okay, upon applying the, the binary operation with f, of, f sub 4 and f sub 6, we'll we obtained f sub 1, right? f sub 1. So, meaning, we'll be evaluating f sub 5 with the function f sub 1. And f sub 1 happens to be our our identity element, right? So, f sub 1 with f sub, uh, f sub 5 with f sub 1 will give us the same value, the f sub 5. Therefore, equivalent yung both equation natin. The, the left and the right side of the equation is actually equivalent to f sub Okay, so letter A is associative. Okay, 
letter A as associated. This is using algebraic, algebraically. We, we test the associative property algebraically. This time, let's try to observe the table. Where is the table? Nagura ko ata. Parang nabura ko. Yung solution sa number 1. Kaya ito yung table natin. Tapos lang natin. Tapos the table. Ano yung given? I copy this. I think, yeah, I did. Okay. I deleted the solution for number one. <clears throat> using the table, F sub 5 with F sub 4, F sub 5 here, with F sub 4 will give us F sub 2. Then F sub 2 with F sub 6 is F sub 5, which is true. I base from our uh, algebra. And then right side, F sub 4 with F sub 6 is F sub 1. And F so 5 with F sub 1 will give us the same value. Since this F sub 1 is our identity element. And F sub 5 is equivalent to F sub 5. Okay, that is using table. So, associative siya, letter B. This time, gamitin na natin yung table, no? Okay, may solution pa pala. Na given lang siya. Ito yung solution. Ay, no. So, test natin si F sa letter B. Letter B. F sub 5 with F sub 2. F sub 5 with F sub 2. This is F sub 4. We have F sub 4. And then F sub 4 with F sub 3 is F sub 2. So the left side of the equation is F sub 2. F sub 2. How about the right side? Uh, Press mo tayo. F sub 2 times F sub 3 is F sub 4. F sub 4. And F sub 5 with F sub 4 is also F sub 2. I mean the left and the right side of the equation is equivalent therefore this is this case is a still or, or still holds the associative property associativity and that's it okay so comparing comparing the solution we had algebraically versus Using the table, okay, which do you think will give you the uh, will easier will give you the solution easier? Table using the table. Pero take note na no, constructing the table will give you uh, will give you much time. Okay. Pero once na you constructed the table doon na kayo mag-base throughout your solution. Right? So, yeah. That is number 9. And I think this is the last example, number 10. Define the binary operation as the ordinary multiplication. Ordinary multiplication, ha? On the set G, whose elements are we have 1, negative 1, I, negative I. We are familiar with I. Are we familiar with I? Imaginary number. Yes. Yes, sir. 
this is an imaginary number. This is square root of negative 1. So I is the square root, the square root of negative 1. So negative I is negative square root of negative 1. Negative square root of negative 1. So if, if these are the elements of G, and we're trying to, to operate these elements with the ordinary multiplication. Ordinary multiplication. This is this is this are our tasks now. Form the table, table of multiplication, and verify whether the set is commutative. Whether the set is commutative. Again, commutativity is regardless of the order, no? Order. Is it commutativity? Yes, this is associativity. Take the new. Associativity to, no? It's not commutativity. Check na lang natin. It's the grouping that changes, not the order. So I think this is associativity. So performing multiplication for all pairs of set G, then we have the table. Uh, this is the multiplication table. We have the elements R1, negative 1, I, negative I. So alam naman natin that 1 is our multiplicative identity. So Operating any number with 1 will give you the same number. And then, ayan lang. We have I. What? Oh, this is our identity. So, yeah. Negative times negative 1 is positive 1. We have I times negative one is negative one. A uh, negative I. I think we're we are concerned with the the multiplication between I's na lang. between I's or between imaginary 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 number. We have I times I is negative one. I times I is negative one. Applying the properties of radicals. Okay, properties of radicals. Since i is equivalent to square root of negative 1, squaring the square root of any radicand will cancel the radical sign. So my e1 lang as a result is the radicand. Okay, so if we have here i squared, i squared means square of square root of negative 1, right? So, this will cancel the radical sign, and what was left is our radicand, which is negative 1. Right? And we have negative i times, I mean, positive i times negative i there becomes positive 1. What? What dito? Why is it? We have now a positive one here when multiplying i with negative i. Negative times negative. Yes, negative times negative. So if our radicand is negative and just we have another negative outside, that's outside the parenthesis, negative and negative is positive. Negative and negative is positive. Right, so that's it. Now let's try to verify the property. Property. <clears throat> okay. So along the way, natin magita yung commutativity. But actually, the first line will tell us that we have to verify. Our, we we illustrated the associativity property. It is when it is in the second line of our proof or of our solution that we saw the property of or the cumulative property, okay, the order. If I times one is equal to one times I. Okay. 
So this is associativity, no? And this is commutativity. So either way naman, either way, associative siya at the same time, commutative siya because we found out that the left and the right side of the equation are equivalent. Equivalent to pi. And that's it.